Ladies and gentlemen, the governor of the great state of Idaho. It's a day of pomp and circumstance. When Idaho's incoming leader promises to uphold the Constitution. I, Dirk Arthur Kempthorne, do solemnly swear. A day of celebration when the taxpayer foots the bill, but not this year. Everybody knows that the state's had a budget problem and uh, money uh, is in short supply, so we decided to try to do this with a minimum amount of state money, and it turns out we're going to be able to do it with no state money. Major General John Kane is in charge of the 2003 inauguration. He says party planners are on a budget, $5,000 all donated. The stage borrowed from BSU, the blue draping recycled from another recent event. That contrasts with four years ago when the stage alone cost $20,000. It's not been hard and it's not been totally easy either. I mean, we've had to do some work to make this thing happen. As for the inaugural ball... Oh, boy, I tell you, these flowers look great. Taxpayers won't pay for that either unless they choose to by purchasing a ticket. Major General Kane says the public needs to see an inauguration befitting a governor. They've done that frugally, but almost more important... I think we need to show the public that we are capable of tightening our belts and doing what has to be done in order to uh, uh, let the state spend their money where it really needs to be spent.